YouTube, JB from Oz here. You might know me from such videos as my LG dishwasher has an OE error. Well this time around we got an LE error and at first glance we thought the LE might have been due to this little beastie which I'll show you some other pictures of. surface of that plastic flat in that direction and round in that direction cleaned all the crap out of there it's not going to be a solution for a long time but that now turns again so in the same way I lifted it out using one of these on either side I'm just going to tap it back in and we'll see if it actually works Ready? yep Thinking. Can you press it? Um, AE. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So LE error is this motor? Very confident. So I'll put all these back together again and we can actually run a wash cycle. Would you like me to do that? Yes, please. With this motor and then we can replace it with those. Yes, please. Okay. We've replaced this motor because it was on its way out. Um, but there is another motor that was making noise and this is the main pump motor inside. And what you'll notice is there's a piece of glass strategically positioned and that's not going anywhere. It's managed to really jam itself in tight down there. And that, believe it or not, is what an LE error looks like. So now what we're going to do is remove the LE error and check for any other sediment. So a piece of broken glass, in this instance, it was never going to dissolve because it's a, uh, <laughs> yeah, glass. So now what we're going to do is put this motor back in the dishwasher. So it'll be a reverse assembly process because we're already down to this stage. Here we're going to do putting of the motor back together. Now there's a rubber seal, silicon seal, some sort of seal down the bottom, which needs to seal against this. I'm told by my faithful assistant that there is a cloth here. So I'm going to make sure the sealing surface is my I guess you need the other surfaces as well. Okay, thank you. Alright, so once we've cleared all that out, we want to join the two halves back together. There's a couple of screws that I wasn't able to get out because they were stuck here. There's a clip here that is going to come together once the rest of these screws come down. Then there is a stack of these. Usual method opposites. down, there's one more here, okay. alright, so this 
this assembly sits into the base of the dishwasher, which is the upside down bit. seal here, two screws there, a screw there, a long screw here, and do I have another screw? Yeah, should be right. Oh, that's right, that's for this one. Okay. So, a few more screws. So, we've got an earth strap that's got to remain between the heating element and that pad. This comes up through to here, that comes up through to here. This is a pair of switches. So that needs to keep working. And that's feeding to this spot here. feed pipe in there. I think that piece has to go down there. That's better. Alright, feed pipe goes onto there. This is where our peppercorn was last time, up into here. Uh, we're now ready to put this assembly back inside. Uh, we can join this up here as well. That's right. Looks like the longer piece goes this way.
little bit of jiggery pokery. There's quite a sharp bend there, but it is looking like that's how the hose is meant to be. All right. That's our motor and pump assembly ready to go back in. line an arrow just here and there's also an arrow inside the housing it needs to come in from the bottom first making sure all the wires are through That's again where our peppercorn was last time. So these two wires are the feed for the hot water. The bottom one goes there on the blue. The top one goes there on the red. We do actually get it onto the clip like I just did.
that's our test fitting, so we can plug it into the hose. And it's going to go quick. I hear something spinning. Whereas before that was just going click, click, click. I just heard a valve open. We got past the LE era, people. That is cool, LE. There's no water leaking at the bottom either. Holy dooly. All right. We'll let that finish. We'll come back. Well, there you have it, YouTube. What was an LE error was a piece of glass stuck in the main pump drive motor for the machine. Um, if you're wanting more detail on how to pull apart or put back together again, I've included some still photographs here of wiring, of selections, etc. Uh, that should help you identify which wires go where. Also, don't forget my previous video on the OE error which was when the siphon drain motor was running, but a peppercorn had stopped the one-way valve from operating and getting the siphon started. So there, there we go, two free ways to fix an OE error and an LE error on an LG steam dishwasher. Thanks heaps for watching, and don't forget to hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, and of course, ding that bell to be notified of future awesome videos. Thanks heaps, guys. Catch you next time.